I've had so many moments. <laughs> Y'all, I have like three jobs and I do a lot of stuff. There are so many times where I get an email and I just crumble into a feeling of overwhelm. Like it's all too much, it's all too much. And so I've d I do this like every other day. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about how to stop feeling so overwhelmed. Let's get straight into it. Number one is to recognize that the feeling of overwhelm is a feeling, not a fact. It is an emotion. Feelings are not necessarily based on fact. They do not indicate truth. They can fluctuate, they can change, they can come and go. So the fact that you are feeling overwhelmed does not mean that you are overwhelmed. Now, I love a definition, you know me. The definition of the word overwhelmed is to defeat someone or something by using a lot of force. That is one of the definitions. So just because you feel defeated doesn't mean you are defeated. Now, the way that I can prove that to you is if you think back to another time in your life where you felt overwhelmed, you're still here. You're literally still here, so you weren't defeated. You felt like you were, but you weren't. So just know that the fact that you feel like you are overloaded with tasks that you cannot possibly find a way through does not mean that you can't find a way through. You can still find a way through. So recognize that it's a feeling, not a fact. Now that said, the feeling isn't nice and it can sometimes stop us in our tracks and stop us from taking action. And so that leads us nicely onto number two, how we can reduce that feeling of overwhelm. So the first thing you want to do is to write down everything that's making you feel overwhelmed. I don't care if it's legible to someone else, only you need to be able to understand it, but just write it all down. All of the little to-do tasks, whether it's empty the dishwasher, pick up the kids from school, finish my portfolio work, write down every single thing that's hanging on your mind. Now, make sure it's accurate, okay? So I don't want you to write down answer emails. How many emails do you need to answer? Is it 10? Is it 15? You can very quickly just see on your inbox how many are unread or how many you need to answer. So write down specifically, because sometimes we can exaggerate things and we're like, oh, I have to answer hundreds of emails and it's actually six. Like, and it's, it's really not gonna take that long, it's actually six. So write it all down. The reason for this is number one, it will be like offloading a mental weight. So you know, if you're carrying a heavy luggage, it's just like putting it down. Oh, and it just lets you rest and breathe for a moment because when you have all of these jumbled up, seemingly urgent to do tasks, your, your brain can just feel like stressed and overwhelmed by the need to carry them constantly. So by writing them down, you're just putting them down for a little bit. So you don't have to worry about, oh, what if I forget? Or what if I don't do this or that or this? They're all on a page somewhere for you. So that will help you feel less overwhelmed already. But the second thing that this will help you do is to acknowledge that probably not as much stuff as you thought. Often when we feel overwhelmed, we can start like exaggerating in our own minds. And we're like, for example, I've got hundreds of emails when it's actually six, or I've got to do all these things. When, when you finish writing the list, it's actually 17 things and they'll probably take you about two days rather than two weeks, like you've exaggerated in your mind for it to be. And that's not to blame anyone, I do this too. And by the way, the reason I'm making this video, I should have said this at the start, is because I've had so many moments. <laughs> Y'all, I have like three jobs and I do a lot of stuff. There are so many times where I get an email and I just crumble into a feeling of overwhelm, like it's all too much, it's all too much. And so I've d I do this like every other day. Every other day I'm like, it's not a fact, it's a feeling. Let's write it all down, let's offload that weight and let's get realistic about what I actually have to do. Which leads us on to number three, which is breaking down the tasks. Now that you've got a list of tasks, you can break them down into small chunks. So you might have written, I need to complete my portfolio. What specifically do you need to do? Well, I need to collect um, feedback from patients and family members and colleagues. What specifically do I need to do? I need to send an email to my colleague on the ward. That's so much easier than this mountain of, I need to com complete my portfolio. No, no, break it down into baby sized tasks. So if you need to clean your flat, do you need to clean your flat? No, actually what you really need to do is put a mug in the dishwasher. Like you can literally break it down to the tiniest tasks of the things that you need to do. The smaller, the better. Rome wasn't built in a day, okay? 
all these amazing buildings in London weren't built in a day. They were built like one step at a time. So why are you trying to climb Everest? Why, why is your to-do list, why does it say climb Everest? When actually what you really need to do is put on your trainers. And then the second thing you need to do is leave the house. It's one thing at a time, okay? So break it down into smaller tasks. Number four, the fourth step is to sleep, rest, take care of yourself. Now, depending on where you are and how you are, you might need to start with this point, okay? If you had two hours sleep last night, go sleep, go sleep. Please go sleep. You're a human being, not a human doing. It is mad how we expect our brains, which are a part of our physical body, to function perfectly when we don't look after our physical bodies. You need to sleep. You function so much better. Your emotional regulation will improve vastly. You know when you're tired and you're just a bit more grouchy and groggy? It's because you haven't rested your brain. Like, it can't function as well. Your emotions can't regulate as well because you've literally deprived your brain of the energy that it needs in order to function well. So go sleep sleep, please. Like, you might actually not be overwhelmed. You might just need a nap. Okay? I said it. Eat. Eat good food, good quality food. Stop eating junk, please. I beg of you. Eat fresh, healthy food. Don't just be eating crisps all day. Eat a vegetable. Eat a fruit. Drink some water. Hydrate. Just rest. Please rest. Physically rest. I don't mean procrastination. I do not mean procrastination. I don't mean go lie on the sofa and binge watch Netflix. That will probably make you feel even more overwhelmed. I mean give your body physical rest by sleeping. Maybe you can read something calming if you find that that does relax you. But I need you to give your body physical rest. Maybe go for a massage. Give yourself a massage. Drink some water. Give your body what it needs to function well, okay? And go from there. We can't keep everyday, everyday labor. Sometimes our feelings are indications as to what we need. The fifth and final way to stop feeling so overwhelmed is to do something. The reason I usually get overwhelmed is because I've been procrastinating fascinating and avoiding a task for a long time. I choose the task that is making me feel the worst. So the one that I'm dreading the most and I will do it. Not because I want to, not because it's easy, but because I know it's going to make me feel less overwhelmed. Set a timer, like remove all distractions, set a timer and only do it for 15 minutes. And afterwards, see how much better you feel about the fact that number one, you are capable of doing what you decide to do. You've just proven it to yourself by taking action. And number two, you didn't combust, like you didn't burst into flames, you did 15 minutes of emails and you're still here to tell the tale, okay? So just do a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit and you'll feel so much better. A little bit of action can help relieve us from the feeling of overwhelm and once that feeling of overwhelm has lessened, we're then a bit lighter and we can do a little bit more. Do you see this cycle? It's the same thing that leads us to overwhelm is that we don't do something and then we don't do something and then we don't do something and then suddenly you've got this overwhelming list. And so the way to get out of that is to do a little bit, do a little bit, do a little bit, do a little bit and suddenly all the overwhelm is gone. But it starts by doing a little bit. So just do that tiny bit and you'll feel so much better. And hopefully in this video, I've given you some tools that will help you to address that need one step at a time in a way that is manageable and will lead you to um, be able to cope better because feelings come and go, but they can feel pretty rubbish at times. So if you struggle with the feeling of overwhelm, try taking these steps next time. Hopefully that will be a little bit of a chip off the block and you'll be able to get some momentum from that. But yeah, I hope that you found this video helpful. Honestly, it's been so helpful for me uh, in my day-to-day -day life with everything that I do. Sometimes I can feel like, ah, but taking these steps helps me feel so much better. If you do like the video, please leave me a comment, give this video a thumbs up um, and subscribe because I'm gonna be doing so many more videos on life because life is beautiful. I've been learning so much as I'm in the end of my 20s. I genuinely feel like I've learned so much from when I first started this channel and I really wanna share more of it and and I love sharing life with you guys. So yeah, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. I love you so much. Bye. <laughs>